Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Today we are going to talk about Power Platform Deployment Pipelines. It's me Sunil Kumar and agenda for today is very simple. We will go through basics and overview of deployment pipelines, how to set up those deployment pipelines and how to consume those. So first we will look into the basics and overview. What's the purpose? So the purpose is very simple. It's basically application life cycle management for Power Platform and Dynamics 365, right? By bringing all the ALM automations and keeping continuous integration, continuous delivery capabilities for all the makers, developers, and admins. In simple language, if you want to say, we can say, create and run the pipelines to easily deploy solutions within different environments. Roles. Now here we have a couple of roles. We'll talk about admin and makers. So admins can easily configure and automate these deployment pipelines within minutes rather than days or weeks, which we used to take earlier using Azure DevOps, right? So this is a very simple uh, way uh, Microsoft has introduced within Power Platform now. Makers will have always an intuitive user experience for easily deploying their solutions within environments next uh, we will look into the common setup so the common setup looks like uh, we have four uh, different environments one will be the host environment then we will have deployment environment qa which is known as test environment as well and the production environment right so the major difference between host and the rest of the environment is that the other environments, other three environments has to be the managed environments, right? And when we talk about the licensing, end users with any production environment linked to pipelines will require a standalone uh, license for either Power Apps, Power Automate or Dynamics 365. Makers generally don't uh, require a license unless they are also an end user. We will look into prerequisites now. So a couple of prerequisites which we have are definitely four environments are recommended. Out of those, three are mandatory and one QA environment which is an optional one. All environments used in pipelines must have Microsoft Dataverse as a database. Right? Power Platform Administrator or Dataverse System Administrator role would be required for setting up those deployment pipelines. Then deployment and target environments used in pipeline must be enabled as managed environments. So here the de development environment and the target environments are our test environment and the production environment. So all has to have managed environment uh, enablement. Then uh, Microsoft Dataverse for Teams specifically uh, those kind of environments are not supported for the use with pipelines as of now. Now let's look how the pipeline environments are connected to each other. Host environment which is a required one is a kind of a special uh, purpose environments which acts as a storage and a management plane for all the pipeline configurations, securities, run history and it's kind of a control center for all the deployment activities. Now the other environments are de development environment for developing the solutions. Then we have QA environment which is basically for testing prior to move the solutions to production environment. And then we have a production environment where everything will go and sit for end users to consume. Now let's see uh, the how, how do we set up this. Then this is a one-time activity which admins has to do from their side. So installation of a pipeline application is the major step here. So first thing is the admins has to go through uh, go to Power Platform Admin Center. Within that cloud Power Platform Admin Center, once they go into different environments, they will have to create a another um, pipeline host environment or uh, as we say the hosting environment. So currently my pipeline my host environment's name is pipeline host right so within that we'll have to go through uh, go to dynamics 365 apps and within those there will be an option uh, for power platform pipelines 
so we have to install that as soon as we install it in that environment itself we will see within apps a new model driven app has should be created the app name will be deployment pipeline configuration so now once this is done the pipeline will be configured a pipeline will be installed so now the configuration will be the next step so that we will check now let's talk about uh, power platform admin center now how do we set up these pipelines and then we will be seeing how to consume those as well so right now i am in my power platform admin center and here you can see the environments which we talked about production environment test environment development environment and pipeline host environments so right now you can see the properties also pipeline host environment is a production type uh, environment and the production environment itself is a production type environment and we can see whether these are managed or unmanaged also so production test and development environment are managed environment and pipeline host is a unmanaged one so if i click in pipeline host environment i will be able to see the uh, environment page and from here i have to go to dynamics 365 apps from the list of apps here i'll have to choose the specific power platform pipelines app and get this installed so this is a one time activity which admins has to do once this is installed in the apps itself in the same environment if they click on apps they will be able to see one model driven app created so when we open this application this is how it looks it, it shows all the active deployment pipelines to us the second thing which we have here is a pipeline setup so in pipeline setup the majorly two things which we have to do is setting up the environments first so setting up the environments includes our addition of those production deployment and test environments it's very simple we just have to click on new and give the name if it is a deployment environment or a development environment give it a name and then select whether it is environment type whether it is a development environment or a target environment so the first environment from which you are moving solution to from from that to another one will be the development environment always any next environments from there would be considered as target environment so once this is selected you can give the environment id also so environment id you can get it easily if you go to uh, environments and if you click on any of the environment let's say i click on development environment this is the environment id so if you are setting up development environment in pipeline so you can take this environment id and you can use it okay. and when you go to so let's go back a bit and correspondingly i have also added other two environments also so once this is done these will be consumed when we build the pipelines so right now i already have two pipelines built let's uh, quickly see one of those so the first thing which we have to do is linking the development environment so this particular section is for linking the development environments only so if you have uh, right now i have just one development environment if you have four such more environments which are considered as development environment then you just have to click new development environment give the name and environment type environment type will always be development environment in this case and then environment id so once you do that you will be able to link the development environment here so once this is done another section which we have here is for the development stages so within this you have to define the stages like right? from development environment to which is the next environment where the solution has to move so for this the name is develop deploy to test this i have given it for my understanding the development deployment pipeline is march pipeline there is no previous stage to this because the solution is coming from another environment not from a stage okay and right now the test environment is the develop deployment target environment in this case now when i click uh, or when i 
add a new stage which is deployed to production at this moment i know that my solution will be coming from a predefined stage which is a deploy to test stage and the target environment will be production environment so that's how you have to create a new deployment stage so if i click on new deployment stage it will always ask me to select the pipeline first which pipeline under which you are trying to create the stage then ask me for a mandatory name field description which is a non mandatory one previous deployment stage i have to select here so if you are trying to move your solution or if you are trying to create a stage for your uh, deployment to test environment then you don't have to select anything in here and if you and here you have to select the test environment so once you set up this all this is how the pipeline is set up. so the pipeline setup is done we will come to run history i will quickly uh, show you how we uh, actually deploy this and then we will come to this so let's let me go back to any of my uh, let's go back to dev development environment itself so if i go to development environment click on power apps okay let me see i would see uh, i would say one thing let me open this in a new one make.powerapps.com select the that is my development environment select the development environment and go to solutions this is the solution which i have so as soon as you enter into any solution you will see the pipeline uh, here so if you click on pipeline you will be directed there so let me do one thing I will quickly head over to making any change right now in the application. So this is a uh, unmanaged solution. That's why you are able to edit this one because you are right now in a development environment. I will go recent test. I will recent test two. I will make a recent test two and save this. Or publish it. Once this is published, I will go back to my solution and click on pipelines. So once I click on pipelines, here I will be able to see all the pipelines which I have created or admins has created. So if I click on March pipeline, I I can see development environment. It will move to test environment and then we can move it further to production environment. So right now I have to move this solution to test environment first. So that's why you are not uh, seeing this deploy here for production environment enabled right now. So first if I click on deploy here, it will ask me to select. Once this is selected, and it will start deploying it. And the version is automatically created. The last version was 1.0.03 now it is 4 and if i click on deploy solution it will automatically start deploying it once it starts deploying it let's quickly move to deployment pipeline and here we will talk about run history now so as you see right now this is the run history which is started and here you can see it is moving to deploy to test this is the stage this is the pipeline and this is the time it has been started on now you can see a couple of run histories which are already there so these are the run histories uh, for my previous uh, deployments which i have uh, done and let's go back here it takes a couple of uh, minutes to do that from the from the previous runs we can always see that it takes around two or one minute as well and let's keep refresh so uh, here we can see that it took around one minute to publish this into the test environments and if we go back to pipelines and here i can see that this one is activated now and this one is activated let me go to this test environment 
so if i go to test environment and solutions this is the march solution which i have and here this is an unmanaged solution so you won't be able to directly uh, start editing here. and that's how it's supposed to be also so if i click on play i will be able to see the recent changes so right now this is the cached version if you have seen as soon as i refresh you will be able to see recent test too. so this is the latest changes which i have done in my uh, development environment application so right now let's go back and deploy this to production as well so once i select this i selected the stage and click on deploy so once i click on deploy this will also start another run history here so if i refresh i'll be able to see another run history has uh, another log has been started so this one also took uh, one minute to deploy let's go to our pipeline page click on go to this environment so right now i am in my production environment if i click on march solution and let's see the latest changes it might open the cached version first but as soon as we reload we will be able to see the latest changes here so this is how uh, deployment pipelines are easy to set up easy to consume we thank you so much everyone uh, for watching this video and hopefully we'll talk about something new in our next video thank you so much have a great day ahead bye bye